Oh, hello YouTube. Uh, this video is for all of the moms and dads that modify their kids' power wheels so that they can have a little bit more fun than two and a half or five miles an hour. I'm one of those parents. And uh, this power wheels was bought by my son's aunt. He loved it, but it was really a little bit slow. So, like a good entrepreneurial dad, I go out there and start looking for, uh, well, the first thing I did was try a little bit more voltage, and it's fine but uh, it immediately broke the factory gears, uh, factory first gear. So I did my research, I went out there, found uh, some people that make metal gears, I found more than one. The one company I purchased from is, this is their gear, their company is ML Toys, and I'm gonna tell you the experience I had with ML Toys. First of all, I like their gear, it's really nice, it has a ball bearing. Now, I have to say with a little bit of smile on my face because this is probably the cheapest ball bearing that's ever been made, I don't know if you can see it in here, but let's see if you can hear it. Uh, no, you can't hear it. I got, I got grease up in there, I can't hear it. Anyway, it's a really cheap ball bearing, okay? It's, <laughs> let's be honest. But it is a ball bearing, and uh, allegedly, and it's uh, better than just having a sleeve in here or a bushing like the other ones have. However, uh, I don't know if it's really worth all the headache that we've gone through. And here's the headache. What happened was, we ordered two ready-to-go gearboxes with the big motor, what they call the 775 or 770 motors. Uh, it was supposed to come completely assembled in their gearbox, ready to drop in, which means 10 minutes aside at the most, and uh, you're back in uh, uh, action with your kids. And uh, I put it all together, and you're going to notice all of these connections, 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 connections. Why? Well, because I've had to take this thing apart so many times, I'm pretty much out now. I'm going to have to rewire part of this because I've had so many problems with uh, ML toys and the stuff they're sending us. Where to begin? Okay, uh, first things first. The problem is they sent me two different gearboxes. Uh, one was, quote, the old gearbox, one was a new gearbox. The old gearbox worked perfectly well. Uh, the motor spun freely, uh, it ran just fine. The new gearbox, unbeknownst to me at the time, had a problem. It was not uh, properly indexed where the axle goes through uh, here this is where the axle comes up for first gear here's the axle presses in here I'm just gonna push in a little bit so you can see it Ax uh, the gear goes on here which I'm missing the bottom bearing but it's good enough for this uh, to show you and uh, so anyways but the problem is on the new gearbox this pinion well excuse me this gear is too close to the pinion and it's probably the um, the pinion is not molded correctly I don't know what it is. All I can tell you is that when you put the motor in here, it binds. It binds very badly. Uh, so I contacted ML Toys. Well, what happened was when I first put it in here, uh, when you turn on the motor, uh, the right wheel goes like crazy and the left wheel won't turn. Well, actually, what it was doing was it was turning backwards and then it turns forwards. So not to get into the physics of it, but that's how it acts when a motor is bo uh, being bound up because all the voltage goes to the other side. And then when you let go of the power button, some of it shoots back through because of the inductance and powers the other motor for a little while and then it shuts off. Anyways, uh, the issue here is that they were binding and when we first put this together, uh, according to the people at Animal Toys, oh yeah, that's normal. <laughs> okay, you mean one wheel turns and the other one doesn't? Oh yeah, that's normal. It'll, it'll, as soon as you drive it, it'll, it'll be fine. No, I have video of my son driving. You have one wheel that was spinning like a bat out of hell and the other wheel wasn't moving. It was almost like the brake was on it. He couldn't drive it. I mean, it was just virtually impossible. It was just one wheel wonder. And you know, with a, a little vehicle like this, if you have power on one wheels and everything else slides, you can't drive it. You, there's no way to steer it. So after about 25 feet, uh, I told my son, sorry, we will, uh, daddy will fix it. So I take it apart and start to investigate. And they say, well, maybe get the wires crossed. No, I don't get the wires crossed. It's just forward and reverse. It's a DC motor. And then they said, well, try swapping side to side. Put that motor over here, put this motor over there. Uh, sure, I did exactly what they said, and uh, I ended up with the same problem, but now on the other side. So uh, they were pretty snooty to me, to be honest with you. Um, I made a couple of videos, I put them up on YouTube, not really for public consumption. I put them on YouTube uh, to show them the problem I was having, and they were really offended at uh, my videos uh, because I was showing them the problem. So after several emails, back and forth, basically um, one of them, I'll read it to you later, but basically it says they're fed up with me. Okay, interesting. So what I paid for was a drop-in, and what I ended up doing was taking this, here's one, here's one, here's one, okay. Uh, oh, thank you. 
Uh, how many times has that been yanked on? So anyways, um, cut to the chase. What happened is the mold is different. And after six weeks of this, somehow ML Toys says to me, oh, you must have one of the bad cases. We got some bad cases in a month ago, and you must have got one of the bad ones. Well, folks, <laughs> if you knew about this a month ago, uh, why did you put me through this? Uh, and here's what happened. They sent me a new case. They're going to send me a new case, okay? What do they send me? Well, it looks like this. Can you see that? It's full of the factory grease, okay? Like I said, I don't have a lot of time. I spent $260, 240 plus shipping, uh, so that it could be 10 minutes aside. It was supposed to be fully together. Drop it in, two connections on each motor, and you're done. Instead, I've had this thing apart multiple times. When they sent me one of the new cases, it looked just like this. They assured me this was going to solve the problem. Oh, yeah, there was another thing. They said maybe your bearing or your axle is bad. You're supposed to take this axle out. You're supposed to file it down to make it fit. Yeah, okay. Did that. Didn't make any difference. And, and it wasn't filed, by the way. They, they sent it where it wasn't filed. Um, so anyway, so I fixed that. Didn't solve the problem. It was just another problem they had. So when they sent me the first case like this, I was not happy. So I spent 45 minutes to an hour cleaning it all out, getting all this garbage grease out uh, to put their good race grease in. And the only reason I cleaned it out is because I know you can't mix greases. I don't know what kind of grease they're using, what lubricant, but I know for a fact you're not supposed to mix uh, greases, lubricants. So I wanted to make sure this was perfectly cleaner, uh, clean, get it all out. And like I said, it takes quite a while to get this stuff out. It's down in there. It's not easy. So I do that, I get it all together, and it's exactly the same thing the first one did. So I contacted them again. I think this is one where they said they were fed up with my emails. I'll read you the email. I'll put it in this video. But uh, they were fed up with me. So I then did another video for them where I simply had uh, the case, and it didn't matter what case it was. It's nothing more than the first gear and the pinion gear in here. To show them how badly it was binding, I took the other one apart completely so that you could see that they were free. There was backlash between each gear, plenty of free uh, 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 movement in the gears, no binding, it ran like a champ. Um, one of the things is when we first ran this with the gears that were binding up that we didn't know were binding up, the battery only lasted 10 minutes, that should tell you something. The battery that normally would last 45 minutes, now admittedly these are more powerful motors, but we went down to about 10 minutes. And boy, when I took the top off of the seat up to here, you cannot believe the heat that came out of here. I mean, it was hot. And I'm not joking. We're out here in the desert. It's 110 right now. Uh, the heat coming out here, you could feel it. It was so much hotter than the ambient air. You could feel it. Put your hand down in the, uh, in the back of the vehicle here. It was intense heat. So uh, hopefully they didn't burn up my motor. Uh, okay, so what I'm going to do here is uh, I'm going to tell you what's going on. First of all, this motor right here, and bear in mind, I paid $260 for ready-to-go drop-in gearboxes with the good motor, with the metal uh, gear, first gear, with the race grease, and uh, all together. All right. So this motor right here, this is their little logo. Well, you can go on Amazon. I'll put a link in the uh, video or in the, yeah, on the video or in the description. Go to Amazon, $26 each. Okay, $26 bucks a piece. Uh, the cases, I'm going to show you the good and the bad case. This, even though this has got the grease in it, this is the good one. Uh, yeah, let's see here. Uh, let's see if you can see it. Oh, wait. Here we go. This is the bad one. Sorry. This is the good one. The um, index hole for the different tooth gears, for the pinion gears, are going to be over here. On the other one, let's see what we got over here. Oh, no, they're on the same side. Hold on. Okay, so what we got here is, I'll have to show it to you on the, on the video. It's really hard to see. I don't know if you can see it. Um, but anyways, the, the pinion should be in the right position. I checked it out uh, visually. I did not put this together yet because I've got to clear all this grease off before I can put it together. But anyways, the gearbox, you can find these for anywhere from $4.95 to $14.95. All over the internet. No problem. Okay, this metal gear. Yep, ML Toys has a very nice metal gear, no doubt about it. It does have a bearing that I could find. It's the only one that has a bearing, assuming you call this thing a bearing, but it is a bearing. Uh, it's not a bushing. Uh, they want 50 bucks for their little wheel here each, and you can buy these on eBay without the bearing, with just a bushing, for about 49 anywhere from 39 to $49, so roughly the same price. Uh, so I paid 260 for uh, 50 plus 25 plus, say, we'll just say 10, call it in the middle. Uh, times two. 
So I probably overpaid um, 150, 160, 170. I paid 260. So I paid about 100 bucks more than I needed to. At the time, I was perfectly willing to do that because, well, it was going to save me time. All I needed to do was pull out the old gearboxes, drop the new gearboxes in, and my son's playing. Well, that was six weeks ago. And as you can see, everything's still apart, and I still got some work ahead of me. So, when ML Toys sent me the second one of these, I told them, I said, uh, you know, really, thanks a lot for sending me the one with the factory grease in it. I had to spend an hour of my time to clean it out. Actually, it was about 45 minutes. But, um, no, nothing, no, we're sorry, not, oh, yeah, you're right, no, hey, we'll give you a little bit of refund. Nope, nothing. Instead, I got an email that said they're fed up with me. Hmm, interesting. Uh, but I said, please make sure when you send me the new one that's supposed to be good that you send it not full of grease, but they sent it full of grease, which is, this is the same one. This is, this is the one they sent first, but I cleaned it up. This was me cleaning it up. And uh, so I just, that's why I made the video. It's like, you know what, guys, this this really disrespectful of your customers. Uh, I know I'm paying a little bit extra, but I was willing to pay extra because I was getting something that was ready to go. Instead, now I've got two gearboxes to clean out of the grease. I still don't know whether this one's going to work. I still don't know. Uh, I wanted to make the video showing the gearbox. This is how you would get it. This is what ML Toys send you. Uh, they didn't even try. I mean, they didn't even try to solve the problem. Instead, they blamed me, the customer, for the problem and on top of that they said that they knew that they had some bad housings from Mattel last month interesting so I just want people to know if you deal with ML toys uh, this is the kind of customer service you're gonna get maybe you get better than me maybe maybe they just don't like me but the fact of the matter is I was very polite to them the whole time uh, until they started sending me the garbage and when they started sending me the problems they were dissing me they were not paying attention to my emails when I was telling them they were a problem they were telling me it was normal it's normal that the, uh, the motor binds like that, which, of course, we all know that's not true. So I made the video. I let the customers decide. If you want to give ML Toys your business, go right ahead. But uh, if you want to give somebody else your business, you go to Amazon, buy these motors for 26 bucks, buy the case for 15 buy the gear for 30 to 40 to $50. Uh, make up your mind what you're going to do. And I'll, I'll follow up on this video. If this is the wrong uh, gearbox again, I don't know. They'll be hell to pay. I'll have to, I'll have to take it up a notch or something because uh, it seems to me that ML Toys just doesn't give a damn about their customers at all. All right. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it was uh, beneficial to you.